All right, hold on a minute. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this. Johnny, you're in a little picture at the top of the right of Studio One. I wanted to bring Studio One on the screen. So there were a couple of things that were going on, and we also got my camera here uh, at the Studio Live 32, which I can take off and put in front of the screen here in a second. But let me explain what I was experiencing. So um, I, like everybody else, went in and made sure that I had my latest version of Studio One uh, updated, which um, I can tell you what the version should be on. on the, I think the Mac and the PC will be the same, but let me just show you. The latest version uh, should be, uh, at least with the Mac, should be Studio One 3.5.4.45392. If I can read that, my eyes are old man, can't barely see it, but it's that. The build is on November 30th, 2017. So step one is I updated that. <clears throat> um, then I went ahead and we needed to update the firmware, right? So we went out to the PreSonus account, and this is what this is one of the issues that that stumped us all, Johnny. And Johnny Guy, if you're listening, you may want to know this too if you don't already know, because you guys are PC guys. This might be just Mac specific. I don't know. So, yeah, your your audio is horrible, John. So, um, hold on here. So, if you go over to your My PreSonus account and you log into your account, okay, and you go to your products, and it's, hopefully you guys will be able to see this. Okay, here's my Studio Live 32. I click on that, okay, and now you come down here to the firmware. Okay, so here's the first thing that that uh, that threw me for a loop. Okay, the Studio Live uh, 32 uh, firmware. Um, if you look down here, the version that you need to make this work on a Mac is version 1.7, which Tom figured out. Nowhere in here does it say 1.7. The latest one it shows is from November 28, 2017, 1.613 which I did not have on my Studio Live, maybe because there was a few updates of firmware in the past and I had no reason to update it, so I didn't. So I, and also be aware that um, you cannot update your firmware for this DAW control through the internet. You have to do it on the, one of the ways you have to do it is on the SD card. It says in the, in the instructions that you don't want to do it through the network cable how you normally can. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is, but have no fear, this 1.6, is actually version 1.7. So I I updated this. When you up when you hit when you click update, it's going to download. It's going to download a file. It's going to bring you to this screen. It's going to say download the Studio the Studio Live 32 firmware, or you can do it down here at the bottom. It gives you a nice walkthrough instructions. So when you download this, you're going to get a zip file, which I have down here in the bottom left hand corner of my screen. I hope you guys can all see that. Okay, you take that, you open it up, and it's an image file, I believe. I don't know the name of it, but it's an image file. Once you format your SD card, you want to make sure that it's formatted, okay? You format the SD card, and then you can just take this on a Mac, and you can just drop or drag and drop it onto the SD card file, which I can try to show you. Do I have my thing plugged in still? No, I do not. But you can just go ahead, and you can just drag it on there. So the image file is now on your SD card, okay? And then from there, you're going to want to stick it into the Studio Live 32 mixer. And I've already done this. Let me, um, I don't want to screw anything up because now I'm in DAW mode. If I take it out of DAW mode, let me see what happens. I, I, that's, I haven't done anything except this, so I don't really know what I'm doing. But if you go to the home screen, let me, um, let me see if I can take this camera off here, John. And we're going to do this kind of gorilla style. There's going to be no fancy camera work, no fancy nothing. But you're going to get a camera on your screen. I'm going to try to move this so you can guys kind of see it. I'm holding it by hand. Sorry for the shakiness. Okay. You're going to come over to system. Okay. You're going to come over to firmware up here. It's the second icon down from the top on the right-hand side. And then you're going to insert your SD card into the slot, and you're going to sit check for updates. I don't have it in. I'm going to go ahead. I'll put the card in there just so you can see. And then you're going to go check for updates. Now, you see the firmware version? It says 1.713343. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. I don't know if you'll be able to see it good if my camera will do it. But the version you need, at least for the Mac, is 1.713343. Okay, now this image, this image file is on my SD card. And the image file, according to the PreSonus website, is version 1.6. It's not version 1.6. It's actually version 1.7. And I thought, because the first time I did this, you hit check for updates. 
And it's going to say there's a uh, you're going to see a little thing again. I know it's out of focus, but it's going to say right down here an update is available from the SD card. You can say proceed or cancel. I'm going to say cancel. Now, the first time I did this exact process with the same image file, it updated. It took about two minutes or so, three minutes. It updated the firmware. There's a progress bar that comes up. It will show you that it's updating your firmware. Okay, I know the camera's shaky. I'm sorry. Um, and what ended up happening was it, it loaded version 1.6, whatever it was, 352. Updated my, and I thought, oh, okay, I didn't have 1.6. I had 1.4, 1.5. So I updated to 1.6. Everything should be good. Went ahead. Did everything else it said in the instructions as far as the way you open up Studio One. Um, and then once you're done doing this, by the way, if you go back to the home button, you're going to hit the UC net, okay? And then you're going to get this screen. Now, what I was getting with version 1.6, you see where it says software control on top? That wasn't there. The only thing that was there was the recording device on the SD card, and that was in the top of the screen. And it was blank down here in the bottom. And I couldn't figure it out. I started pulling Cat5 wires, changing Cat5 wires, thinking something was wrong. Um, nothing seemed to work. The way you need to have this wired, and again, Johnny, this could be just Mac. I don't know. But Tom and his wife, Heather, by the way, figured this out because Heather is an IT specialist. <laughs> so between her and Tom, they figured this crazy thing out. So you have to have, obviously, the Studio Live via Cat5 to your router. And then from your router, you're going to go to your computer. You also need to have the USB cable plugged into your computer. So you need to have both those things happening. Okay? Yep. That's not enough, though. The other thing you have to do is you have to make sure if you – I'm going to put this camera down for a second because this is on the screen now. I'll bring the camera back in a minute. The other thing you have to do is for the – again, it could be just Mac, but Tom thinks it's for both. You also it need is. to make sure that you have your Wi-Fi – turned on if you even if you're hardwired in your Mac or your PC you also have to have the hot, the Wi-Fi on and you got to connect to your network and here's my Vignola network that's my last name you all know that my Wi-Fi is now connected I never used to have my Wi-Fi on because I always just go everything hardwire but in order to do this at least that's what we we think I don't there may be a workaround but this is how I got it to work the Wi-Fi has got to be connected to the network. You also have to have the hardwire plugged into your router and then into your computer. And then you also have to have the USB cable plugged in. And when you have those three magic things all working together, along with yes. version 1.7, let me just double give you that number again. It's a version, uh, let me just look at it one more time. It's 1.73 something or another. It instantly works like this. As soon as I had 1.7 in and I went to... Um, the UC net, I got this screen. Let me show it to you again. Again, I know this is a shaky camera. I had the screen where I had the Studio One software control. And when you do the drop down arrow, it says Studio One. You may not be able to read that too well. Studio One, David Vignola's Mac Pro. And then you just touch yep. that. As soon as I did that, I hit the DAW button. And if I hit the DAW button, let me put my camera back. You'll see what happens because I took it out of DAW mode a minute ago. Let me see. Let me turn up my camera here. So as soon as I hit the little green button, it says DAW. All the faders lock in to the session. And then if I go to the session, let me just minimize the screen here. Let me go to my uh, song that I had open. Now everything moves. If I take channel one, you could probably see in the top right hand corner of my screen and I move channel one on the studio live. You can see channel one on the DAW moves the kick track. Okay, all the scribble strips line up, everything works the way it's supposed to. So that's the trick. So when you download that 1.6 firmware from your PreSonus account, at least in my account, maybe your account's different, I don't know. That image isn't really 1.6, it's 1.7. Now, what I forgot to mention, I got sidetracked. The first time I did this exact process and I uploaded the, um, the file via the SD card to the Studio Live and it took it, Remember I said it went from like 1.4, whatever I had on it before, to 1.6. It matched what's, what it said in my PreSonus account as far as the versions were. When I did it the second time with the same exact vial, because Tom says, no, do it again. He walked me through it, and I did the same exact thing. When I loaded it the second time, it went from 1.6 to 1.7. Don't ask me why. That's probably a Johnny Guy, Johnny Lipsham, IT kind of a funny question thing that I have no clue why that would do that. That I don't know if that's a hiccup. 
that these guys can help correct or if that's normal and I'm just ignorant. It could be the second. <laughs> but if you but